How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. I just stopped in at Hardware Freight today and picked up a new a magnifying lamp. It's a, it's a desktop magnifier and it has a light on it. I actually got it out of the box here and was checking it out and I thought I would share it with you guys. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty cool little thing to have because we've been doing some metal detecting and uh, my eyes ain't quite as good as they used to be. And a magnifier, a hands-free magnifier, is actually, seems like it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, this little lamp that uh, we just picked up is actually uh, not that expensive. You can pick this thing up at Harbor Freight uh, pretty cheap if you use that 20% coupon. Uh, it seems to be a pretty good little lamp uh, from what I've seen so far. And I'm going to show you how it works and what it looks like looking through it. Uh, the weight of it isn't uh, really, really heavy. Uh, uh, it don't feel uh, too bad. I mean, it's got some weight down here in the base to hold it up. It's actually pretty heavy uh, at the base. The top's pretty light up here. And of course, you want that so it doesn't topple over. Uh, so I'll give you a little close-up of the lamp and uh, how it moves and twists and turns and what it looks like. Well, let me show you. Okay, just a little bit closer look at the lamp. Um, it does move up and down the whole lamp. Uh, this guy here will go up and down and it will also twist if you would need to twist it in one direction or the other. And this lifts up and your magnifier is on the inside which is pretty cool because you're looking straight down through this way hands free. You can put whatever you want up underneath. And to make it even nicer, it has a light, which uh, lights it up pretty good. It, it is a fluorescent light uh, in there. It's not an LED, but uh, for the price that I paid for this, uh, what do you expect? You know what I mean? It's not, it's not that expensive. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get this thing set up, and we'll look at a couple coins through it. And uh, I'm not exactly sure how well that's going to work with the camera, but we'll do our best to show you how it works. Okay, this is a shot of the uh, lamp from the uh, top side. I have mounted my camera in the homemade camera bracket that I made. And I'm just going to grab some coins. And we're going to lay some coins under here so we can check out some dates. Uh, which are a little bit dirty coins, but you got to expect that when you find them in the uh, ground so I'll get you guys tightened up here and just to make sure I got you straight with this thing uh, actually uh, you're looking at basically what I can see and the only thing is is with the camera I'm not sure how well this will work but I mean I'm probably got my face maybe 12 inches away and I can see that pretty good oh uh, not too bad let's see what it is 1969 I can't see the D but what's nice is you got this little piece up here and you can zoom in I don't see any mint mark on it yep yeah, maybe it does it has a D Which is uh, pretty cool to be able to look at it. I didn't really clean these up too much. Uh, they're not cleaned up very much. That one's still even a little bit hard for me to see on it. Um, but let's grab another one. Now this one here, you can plainly see what that one is. 1967. I can see that real well. I see no mint mark on it. Uh, pretty cool. But, you know, to be able to work hands-free and look at these uh, coins, this is a 1968D. Uh, some of them are still a little bit tough to see, but we did order a uh, microscope that hooks to our uh, computer, which is going to be pretty nice because we'll be able to take pictures of some of the coins uh, up close I think it'll allow us to take pictures this is a 1980 
no mint mark um, like I said these are all coins that we picked up uh, while we was out metal detecting and uh, we do have some silver when we get our uh, microscope we're going to be putting some silver under the microscope and uh, showing you guys some of the other finds that we've found but I do think that the the uh, little magnifying lamp is actually really cool and like I said the hands free is really neat so I'll show you the old uh, magnifying glass that I was using I'll just move this out of the way and this is my old one uh, which you would hold it in one hand and then hold your coin up there and uh, there's no light under this one so it makes it a little bit tougher to see it but you can see but you know you know you only have one hand uh, so for this little guy here this little thing here uh, is a big difference now with uh, having two hands now if I wanted to take a, say a toothpick and clean up that date a little bit I'd be able to work underneath of the lamp which would make it even nicer so I think that the lamp was a good buy all right, here are the uh, specs on the lamp. Uh, tell you just a little bit about the lamp, uh, what it does, and uh, it's actually, like I said, from what I can see so far, it's going to be a pretty good little lamp for the cost. Uh, the the cost of it, I'm going to say, it was about twenty four dollars, uh, something right around twenty some dollars, and to be able to have hands free uh, looking at your coins. I think it was a pretty good buy. Well, that's a look at the desk lamp. And I think it's going to be a pretty good uh, thing to have, especially as you get older. Uh, you need some help uh, seeing uh, different things. You know, it could be coins, it could be anything. Well, I've seen times when I'd need to look at them little coupons that Harbor Freight gives you down in the corner and it's got a date on it. They write them so small you can't see them, so... I think uh, we got one over on them. We'll be able to see the dates now. So I think uh, it's going to work out pretty good for what I'm going to use it for. So I would like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Hey, keep it real, keep it clean. Till next time.